atheists don't even have the right to exist under Sharia law. The reality is, if you do not fight against an evil, the evil will win by default. So the Quran commands Muslims to discuss with Christians and Jews in the best way he quoted it. But the Quran addresses Christians and Jews as dumb animals. Why, what, go on, yeah, go on, condemn your prophet. Any human being. Any human being. Anytime. Anytime. Anywhere. anywhere. Mm. Go on. Oh, I'm trying now. Condemn your prophet. So, when Muslims do it to others, it's yay, Muhammad, you're so great. You're the best example in the world. When someone does it to the Muslims, it's a crime. What the Chinese are doing to the Muslims in China, totally justified according to his logic, because the Muslims there have broke their treaty with the Chinese state. Who, who are the genissaries? Do you know? He doesn't know. Do you know? Do you know? We know he's lying. Because we've told him before! <laughs>
with willing submission and feel themselves subjugated. Other word translations put it as humiliated. There's your proof. There's your proof. How would you reply to that? Let's have a respectful conversation. Tell me the story about this verse. Every verse comes for a reason, you know. Tell me the story or you just copy saying like this. What is the story about it? Okay. What's the story? Here. Where, where was this revealed? Where was it? In Mecca or Medina? Where was it? You don't know nothing, bro. You just want to copy so, something. So, so on, defend it then. What's your defense? No, no, I'm asking you. You no. know it better than me, right? So no Where defense. Was Where was it revealed? No okay. defense. Tell me the story about this verse. Here's, Tell me. Tell here's me the story. The story that is the truth that we Christians experienced for 1400 years. Using this verse, Muslims invaded Christian lands around the world. Muslims humiliated and subjugated Christians around the world. In Egypt, in Spain, in Romania, in Greece, in Cyprus, in Italy, in Sicily, in Portugal, in Algeria, in Tunisia, in Jordan, in Lebanon, in Palestine. They humiliated Christians and Jews. They subjected us to this kind of humiliation following this Quranic injunction. They quoted it as justification for their actions. And this is why, Christians, you must contend for history. You must learn the history of the church. You must learn how the church has suffered under Sharia law and suffered under Islamic occupation. And you must tell those progressive idiots yes. <laughs> who try to pretend that Islam is some harmless ideology. And you must contend for the history because as you have seen, the Muslims will simply deny the facts of history. Do you know who the Janissaries were? Do you know? Do you know? I'm asking you. Do you know who the Janissaries were? You see? Who, who are the Janissaries? Do you know? He doesn't know. Do you know? Do you know? Now, guys, we know he's lying because we've told him before. So, the Janissaries were the kidnapped Christian children in occupied Islamic lands who were forcibly converted to Islam, sent back to rape and kill their own families, mothers, daughters, brothers, sisters, and to raid the villages of their own families. Why did the Muslims do it? Why, Bob? Because Islam teachers, Muhammad taught and allowed that when the Banu Quraysh were conquered, that their women and children could be taken as slaves. And this, ladies and gentlemen, is why as Christians, we must find our strength and stand up to Sharia and stand up to the Islamists and stand up to those that would defend this law. We we'll all feel free to criticize Nazism. And why? Because Nazism is an abhorrent ideology that calls for abhorrent acts. Islam is an abhorrent ideology that calls for abhorrent acts. So, go on. Oh, believer, don't discuss and debate with the Jews yes. and Christians to whom the divine books yes. accept in the best manner. Right. In the best manner. Right. You're lying, bro. So, here we have, here we have a contradiction in the Quran. So, we have one verse of the Quran that says, discuss with Jews and Christians in the, in the best, best way. way. Something that no Muslim here ever does. As demonstrated by this man on camera. On camera. On camera. But then this verse of the Quran calls Muslims to fight against Christians and Jews until they accept Islam or until they are humiliated. That is wrong.
Oh! Hypocrites. So the Quran Hypocrites. now contradicts itself. Hypocrites, that's not true. But it gets worse. Sick and we got mercy for a love. It gets and worse. Ah, it gets worse. Oh, it gets so much worse. Let's look at what else the Quran says. Every black sheep and every human being. It's good and bad. We're talking about what the Quran says, not what individual Muslims do. I'm sorry. You gotta stay focused, bro. You don't agree to go home, bro. You go home. That's where you got your night sick. Okay. Wait till you're 90, you get your ass to walk in when you're 90. So. You stand there preaching line in the camera. Black sheep and good sheep in the. We're talking about what the Quran says, not what individuals do. Stay focused. Stay focused. Stay on the team. Good and bad, mate. We look at it that way. So. Let's look at what else the Quran says about Christians and Jews. Because you're a bad man, that's why. He says I'm a bad man. The Quran says the Christians and Jews are like dumb cattle. Is that talking to Christians and Jews in the best manner? No! So the Quran commands Muslims to discuss with Christians and Jews in the best way he quoted it. But the Quran addresses Christians and Jews as dumb animals. That's what the Quran says about Christians and Jews. Are you saying I'm wrong? 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 So, they said it will be everywhere, Sharia law. Be aware, O Christians! O oh, followers of Christ, the Muslims declare openly their intention to put Christianity over your, to put Sharia law over your heads. They have declared it openly. As Christians, you are called to be good soldiers of Christ and to fight against sin, the world and the devil. Sharia law is of the devil and Christians should fight against it. Let us look at what Islam, what the Quran says about you. What it says about Christians in Surah 7, 179. Let's go there. Because you've got to understand, this book informs Muslims about how they see you, Christians. Many are they. We have made for hell. They have hearts wherewith they understand not, eyes wherewith they see not, and ears wherewith they hear not. They are like cattle. Nay, more misguided, for they are heedless. The Quran describes Christians and Jews as cattle. This is why Muslims speak down to Christians. And notice how they speak to us, how they seek to treat us when Sharia law dominates. Go to Egypt, go to Pakistan, Go to Jordan, go to Syria, go to Palestine and see for yourselves how Christians live as second-class citizens. Atheists don't even have the right to exist under Sharia law. The reality is, if you do not fight against an evil, the evil will win by default. The Quran goes on to say in Surah 60 verse 4 and on this I'm going to stop on this topic and take questions. So in Surah 60, Ayah 4, it reads this, there is for you an excellent example to follow in Abraham. So Abraham is being held up as an example, as an example. When they said to their people, to their people, so this is Abraham's words, we are clear of you 
and of whatever ye worship besides Allah. We have rejected you and there has arisen between us and you enmity and hatred forever unless you believe in Allah. So the example of Abraham to the Muslims is to have an enmity and hatred to the unbelievers, to the pagans particularly. Ladies and gentlemen, brothers and sisters in Christ, we are called as Christians to fight for justice, to fight for the righteous cause of our God. And that means that we fight against racial apartheid. We fight against Nazism, communism. We fight against Sharia law because Sharia law imposes a religious apartheid. The liberal media and the liberal politicians have lied to you about what Islam will do to Christians and Jews under Sharia law. They will be made into second class citizens, having less rights than Muslims. If we passed a law that said black people had less rights than white people on account of the color of their skin, you would all be enraged. So why do you turn a blind eye to a legal system that will say that Jews and Christians will be second-class citizens on the basis of their religion. If it is right to condemn Nazism, it is right to condemn Islam and Sharia law. Let us be clear, not all Muslims believe in their religion. There are many good Muslims who do not want to do to you what their religion teaches. But the fact remains that their religion does teach it. And it is right and fair and just and a Christian duty to stand against Sharia law. Any questions? I'll tell you a question. What's Christianity? Is uh, Quran is the testament of the three books, which is the Torah, the Bible, and the Quran. It's the last testament. You haven't even read it. The thing is, if you read it, you have enough knowledge. But you are ignorant. You haven't read it, and you come into our discussion and just shouting, and you just pay an attention for nothing. Come on, Dom. What's your question, man? Man? So he says that I am wrong. My question is, why don't you know the rules of this? Take out your phones right now and Google the word Dimi. D H I M M I. Google that word. So my question. Take out your phones and Google the word Janissary. I am not lying to you. You can check what I am saying yourselves. My question is. Dimmies are second-class citizens in Sharia law. We what haven't seen enough this. of codes and lies, you know. No, God. Yeah. Well, we have uh, a life uh, experience on that. When the Muslims were in Spain for 800 years. Shout to them! Shout seen, to them! We've seen that the Jews and the Christians they had the best time ever, especially the Jews. But we've seen in 1492 when the reconquest of the Jews and the Muslims. So let me respond to this point. Quran is the future of science. Muslims make up a lie. The Christians and Jews lived well in Islamic Spain. That is a lie. Churches were not allowed to ring their bells. Christians were not allowed to go on procession. Christian men could not marry Muslim women, even if both parties wanted to. Muslims could own Christian slaves, but Christians could not own Muslim slaves. Muslims confiscated churches. They are lying about history. And that is why, church Christians, you must contend for history. You must learn 
the history of the church. Because if you don't tell your history, the Muslims will. Okay, sir. Now, let me answer. So you are claiming that Muslim countries, no churches, no, yes, no, 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 no. world well, reconquest in 1942, in 1492, Muslims and the Jews, where did you went to? You went to Morocco, you went to Turkey, you went to you know, North Algiers. Was it a choice? And for 500 years, if you go to Morocco at the moment, you will see churches, you will see synagogues, and they've lived for 500 years, and they have their best time ever. Okay, million... can I reply to that? Yeah, go on. So, see, so you're talking no, rubbish. No, bro, bro. The person that's talking rubbish is you. Um, oh, wait, wait, I didn't interrupt you. Okay, Let's on. have a conversation. Because the person that's talking rubbish is you. Let me explain. Yeah, no, 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 you're lying. You are lying. Right, since you're interrupting me, the conversation is over. We're not going to have a conversation now. So here is the lie that he said. He said Jews and Muslims left Spain. And they went to the Islamic world after the Reconquistador. However, why in the first place did those Christians have to fight to liberate their lands? He didn't tell you why. Because the Muslims invaded those lands. And when the Christians raided the Islamic occupied territories, the Christian villagers would often leave the villages and return with the Christian raiders because they did not want to live under Muslim rule. But he mentioned about the expulsion of the Muslims and the Jews from liberated Catholic Spain. And that is true. That happened. And I condemn it. And he's nodding his head. But what about, but what about when Mohammed expelled the Jews from Arabia. Tell them why. Tell so, them why. now notice. Tell them why. Go and on. now notice. Yeah, yeah. Like. Notice. Notice. When Catholics do it to Muslims, he condemns it as a crime. But when Muhammad did it to the Jews, he's going to defend it. So tell everybody, why did Muhammad expel all the Jews from Saudi Arabia? So let's go back to Spain and I'll go back to Muhammad. Now, you told me I'm a liar, okay? Well, I just happened to live in that country where I can see there are like one million Jews who live in Israel. They're all from Moroccan background. They're still coming back. They still have their, you know, synagogues. They've been just like been rejected. In Israel! Oh, you say Israel is not an Islamic country. Oh, you've just been telling me, let's have a conversation. And you now. interrupted and I said that the conversation was over. I'm not interrupting. See what you I'm interrupted like? me. Tough. You answer? interrupted me. Go on, answer. So, you just want to do like so Israel is not an Islamic country. Go on. It's not an Islamic country. There you go. But they have uh, mosques and they have churches. In Israel? And, yeah, in Israel. And they have synagogues. In and, Israel. But not in uh, Spain when they throw all the Muslims. They just uh, destroy everything. While in 800 years, they were all together. You know, he stayed as a Muslim, he stayed as a, in a Christian, he stayed as a Jew for 800 years and nothing happened. Now what he didn't to... tell you is why the Jews had to leave Algeria in the first place. Because they were not welcomed by the Muslims. And that's why the Jews were pushed out of North Africa. Is that true, Josh? It is true. So you're lying. You're lying, bro. When was that? Tell me, tell me. Why Why did Muhammad expel all the Jews from Arabia? No, no. Why did Muhammad expel all the Jews from Saudi Arabia? But Go on, why did Muhammad expel all the Jews from Saudi Arabia? At the time, because you are telling so many lies. Why did Muhammad expel all the Jews from Saudi Arabia? We have a conversation, we just want to do like... No, 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 you interrupted me and I said the conversation was over. They've been thrown away from... Why did Muhammad expel all the Jews from Saudi Arabia? Are you embarrassed by your prophet? Right, so tell us... You are embarrassed So tell us why, tell us why. Tell me first and I'll tell you... Tell us why. Okay, so let's be clear. Mohammed did something that this man condemns. When the Catholics of Spain expelled the Muslims and Jews from, South, from Spain, which is a Christian I condemn, 
He says it's wrong. Yeah, he said that. But when Mohammed yeah. expels the Jews from Saudi Arabia, he says it's justified. Wow. And that is the double standard okay. of Muslims. Okay, when was that? If you know the history then, tell me when you've been expelled. Let us uh, give us the date. When uh, Muhammad dominated when, the peninsula. When, when? Tell me, towards when? the end of his life. Uh, you're rubbish. You say you don't even know. So tell us rubbish. then. Tell us. No, you tell me since you know. So don't you know? So don't you know? I do know. So tell us. No, you're the one who don't know. Okay. You're give me dates. Go on, tell us. When was that? Are you denying it? How can you have a conversation? Are you denying it? I'm not denying it. So say, tell me are you dates. saying it's true? No, tell me dates. Give me dates. If you're not when denying it, are you saying it's true? Okay, well, shall I shall I help you with that? Yeah, go on. Okay, well, the what's the name of this uh, tribe? This, uh, Manu Quraysh. All Jewish tribes, all no, Jewish tribes. Tell us. No, tell us. No, no, you tell us. Okay, you know. this is the logic. He's, he's obfuscating and wasting time because he doesn't want to deny, he doesn't want to admit on camera that Mohammed did exactly what I said. Okay, tell him what's the... Did, did Mohammed do it, yes or no? Oh, yeah, he did. Yes, he did. Ah, there you go. Why? Do you condemn it? Why? You tell us. They broke the treaties. He broke the treaties. They, they broke the treaties. Right. So, what are they called? So it you was after a war, right? Shall I help you with that? So okay. it was after a war. I'll help you with that, since you don't know. I'll help you with that, okay? All right. Banu Qurayda, do you know? You heard of? Yes. Repeat it. Go on. No, tell me again. No, 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 we're not doing this silly game. No, no, tell me. He said so yes. we've, right, bro, we've established exactly what I said. Is really Muhammad okay. expelled the Jews from Arabian Peninsula. I was not lying. That's the important point to take away. No, that was so when Muslims do it to others, yeah. It's yay, Muhammad, you're so great. You're the best example in the world. When someone does it to the Muslims, like they are doing in Burma, or like the Catholics did in Spain, it's a crime. Well, it was a crime. So, oh, it was a crime, but well, not when Muhammad did it. What, have they killed him? It was a crime did when Muhammad did it. Did he ask them to change their religion to Muslims? Did they ask Muhammad them, like, was an abhorrent example. No, they had a treaty. He was an abhorrent. They fought. They had a fight. So you kicked them all out. They've gone. So you kicked them all out. No, I didn't kick them. <laughs> Muhammad did it. Muhammad did it. How many of them? Were? Muhammad did it. What's the name? Shall I tell you? Shall I tell you why, bro? You're condemning. You you you're unwilling to condemn Muhammad. Yeah. It's because even though he does actions that you would condemn in any other human being today. You won't condemn him, Muhammad, because you think Muhammad is the best example. Okay. Is when that right? When you had treaties, when you had treaties, yeah, two countries they had two treaties, and when somebody break the treaty, what's going to happen? A war will happen. We see yes. this in Ukraine, yes. now in Russia, and all these things. So that means you can so, expel everybody. Well, no, they, why would expect this? A lot of them they died in the war. So you the, know, they had the war. So by them. this logic, by Islamic logic, any cleansing of Muslim populations. Yeah who break the civil peace is acceptable according to this guy. What I can tell you... So what the Burmese yeah. did according to this guy is totally justified no, because they broke the treaty. No, no, no. What the Chinese are doing to the Muslims in China yeah. totally justified according to his logic because the Muslims there have broke their treaty with the Chinese state. So every time the Muslim populations betray the nation state that they are brought up in, according to Islamic logic, you can expel them all. So what we've got here in his Islamic justification for ethnic cleansing. You see, what you fail to know now, we're not talking about religious or Muslim. Anybody, any human being, we will get this treatment, we are against it. Unless so, Mohammed does it. No, it's, 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 you are mixing up. No, no, no did Mohammed do it? Look, first of all, you did Mohammed do it? You just said on camera he, he did, there's him. no he point was, in it. By the way, it was not even him. You see, like, you see, oh, are you, you saying, don't, you don't yeah, know, no, 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 no. I, your rubbish. Who was now, the leader? No. Who was anybody, the leader? Any human Why, being. What, go on, yeah, go on, condemn your prophet. Any human being. Any human being. Any time, anywhere. Who, 
Oh, I'm trying now. Condemn your prophet. No, I'm trying now. English any is my human language. being, any time, anywhere. Go on, finish the sentence. I'm trying now. English is my fourth language, so yeah. give me time. You'll yeah. live. Carry on. I'll, I'll live. I'll, I'm sure. You see. So, whoever treats you badly, whatever, we condemn it. We Doesn't condemn it. Doesn't matter if you are Muslim, whatever. He just condemned we Muhammad. We see this in Spain. He the just Jews, condemned Muhammad. The, the Christians, who took over, the Catholics, who took over, and they, you know, they killed everyone. Either they had to run away. They took all the stuff, and, and when they went to a Muslim country, and they lived for five okay. years. Okay, so ladies and gentlemen, problems. what this Israel brother has done, what this brother has done, always go back. he has compared <laughs> Muhammad to the worst examples of Christians. That's what he's just done. He has sought to he has sought to justify Muhammad's behavior by pointing to the worst behavior of Christians. But bearing in mind what he said, anyone, anytime, anywhere who does what Muhammad did and what the Catholics of Spain did should be condemned. Or even in England, so, under the SCO. And this is the, this is the mixed up thinking of Muslims. You literally just heard him condemn his own prophet on camera, and he doesn't even acknowledge that he's condemned his own prophet because on camera. No, it was a treaty. And they broke the treaty. There was a war. The Muslims of Spain broke their treaty with Catholic Spain. The Muslims of Burma broke their treaty with the Burmese state. The Muslims of China have broken oh, their treaty with the Chinese <laughs> state. And so therefore, according to this man's Islamic logic, the ethnic cleansing of Chinese Muslims, Burmese Muslims and Spanish Muslims are completely or Jews, or Jews, justified. Or Jews. According to his logic, but we Christians have a better example in Jesus Christ, which is why I can and do condemn the ethnic cleansing of Burmese Muslims in Burma, the Chinese Muslims of China, the Spanish Muslims of Spain, and Mohammed's ethnic cleansing of Jews in Saudi Arabia. I'm being consistent. His African moral teacher, Muhammad, has led him into total double standards and hypocrisy. Awesome. So you're talking only the Catholic, and how about the, the World War? Uh, uh, and war this Muslim and said I was lying. Huh? That what Muslim said I was lying. Catholics against so, he, so he says, now this guy's is why Christians. Okay, let me tell you how much you have guys, to pay this. Guys, this, this is why Christians. Christians, this is why you have to contend have very for history. To you have to contend for history. Because if you don't tend contend for history, the enemies of the church will tell the history of the church for you. Christians were fighting a war for 700 years in Spain to stop Islamic conquests. They were fighting to live as Christians against an invading force. Spain was Christian before the Muslims came. And the Muslims desecrated churches, confiscated churches, prohibited Christian practice. So, well, most of the technology came from Spain and the Muslim countries. Well, the first thing they came barbarian. This is why you need to contend for history. That was utter rubbish. Most of technology came from Spain. This guy's an ignoramus. Who are the Muslims? Who are the Jews? They were the Christians. Who are the Jews? Everybody. Now, the Jews and the Moors are expelled from Spain. Okay, JC. Why did they put them in West Africa? Are you going to show you more? I want to. I want to go. No, 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 no. I want to. You, the Muslim. I want to find something. But me, the Jews, went to West Africa. No, they went to Morocco. No, no, no. A lie you are telling. No, lie you are telling. Why? You are lying. Watch this, Bob. Watch this lie you telling now. Did 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 Christopher Columbus end up in Jamaica 1492 with maroon people? Not in Jamaica. The first, the first that escaped them, the first that escaped them were Jew from. From Spain and Portugal, we got sent down to Jamaica. I call my room. No, no, that's after you're mixing up. You're mixing up, my friend. Bro, you're mixed up. Bro, you know what's going to happen? Everyone is going to. Bro, 
God, God bless you, bro. You gotta stand up against this. Bro, you know. If you go 4092, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Let's let's do a wrap up, JC. Let's come away and do a wrap up. It's a windy, wet day. Peace, we bro. It's a windy, wet day. Guys, just think about what you saw on camera. The Muslim literally condemns actions that his own prophet does. But then when I point out that his own prophet did what he condemns, he attempts to justify it. But if it's justified for Muhammad to do it to others, by Islamic logic, it's justified for people to do it to Muslims. So what is it to be Muslims? Can we ethnically cleanse you from the UK? Like they are doing in Burma and China. You'll obviously say no, and I don't blame you. Because, of course, it would be wrong. But then if you're willing to condemn the very suggestion of the question, at least have the consistency to condemn Mohammed for ethnically cleansing the Jews from the Arabian Peninsula. And if you are going to condemn Mohammed for his actions, then it's time to find a better moral example. And that is, and that is Jesus Christ. So.